Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem with polynomials. Pol polynomials have a lot of problems. Let's go ahead and solve one of them. We have x to the 6 power minus 8x equals 5. And based on these x values, we're supposed to evaluate x squared minus x. So how can we do this? If we were given x squared minus x and it was vice versa, it would be easier because we could just plug in the x squared value. We're going to do the same thing, but just backwards. All right, ready? Let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to k. By the way, if I forgot to say, we're supposed to find the numerical value for x squared minus x, not in terms of x or anything like that. So now by setting this equal to x, I mean k, I can basically write x squared as x plus k. This is going to be my formula for pretty much the entire video. Okay, let's see how that plays out. Now, we are given x to the 6 minus 8x equals 5. How do you use this information? I have x squared. I can go to x to the 6 power by cubing both sides. Yes, you can do that. Or you can get x cubed and then square both sides. I like to get x cubed because I don't like cubing. I like squaring. Anyways, uh, when I say cubing, don't get me wrong. It's not about Rubik's cubes. I like cubing in that sense. Anyway, so x cubed is x squared times x. And x squared is equivalent to x plus k. Remember, I told you that's our formula. And this is going to give me x squared plus kx. But remember, all the time, x squared is the same thing as x plus k. So let's go ahead and replace it with x plus k. So we can linearize every power. Make sense? In other words, make it linear. Just a fancy word. And then this gives us a kx plus x. That's k plus 1 times x plus k. And now this is linear. This is x cubed, but I do need x to the 6 power, so let's square both sides. And that gives us the following, x to the 6 equals, I need to square the first term, k plus 1 squared, x squared, plus 2ab think, 2k, k plus 1, x, and then b squared is k squared. Awesome. Now, notice that we got another x squared, this is going to happen a lot. Now we got to replace it with x plus k. So let's go ahead and do it. x to the 6 equals k plus 1 squared. So you can go ahead and leave it that, that way for now. And then later on, we're going to expand it. Multiply this by x plus k. And then we get 2k squared plus 2kx. Let's go ahead and distribute that because we're going to have to combine like terms next. Plus k squared. This is x to the 6 power. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more before we get to the beginning. Okay? Now... Take a look at the coefficient of x first. It's k plus 1 squared, k plus 1 squared, plus 2k squared plus 2k. The whole thing is the coefficient of x. What about the constant term? This times k, which is k plus 1 squared, times k plus k squared. Great. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. You know, the more you simplify, the more you need to simplify. This is going to become k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus 2k squared plus 2k times x. And then this is going to become k times that. So let's go ahead and distribute it. Uh, k squared times k is going to be k cubed. 2k, 2k squared plus 1 plus k plus k squared. All right. A little bit more simplifying. That's going to give us 3k squared plus 4k plus 1. Awesome. That's the coefficient of x. And then our constant term is going to be k cubed plus 3k squared plus k. All right, let's go ahead and now set this equal to something. Equal to what? Well, we were given something, remember? x to the 6 power minus 8x is equal to 5. What is that supposed to mean? x to the 6 minus 8x equals 5. This means you can isolate x to the 6 power, and that's where the math and magic happens. Great. x to the 6 is equal to this for the x values I'm looking for, but I also got this in terms of k, right, and x. So now I can go ahead and set these two polynomials equal to each other because polynomials are polynomials. They're equivalent, right? Uh, then here, this gives us two equations, doesn't it? How am I going to deal with two equations? We only have one variable. Let's see. So let's set that equal to 8, which is the coefficient of x, and the constant term is 5, right, or negative 5. It's 5 because it's on the right-hand side. Great. So now we're going to set k cubed plus 3k squared plus k equal to 5. 
if you look at these equations, the first one is easier to solve, obviously, because it's quadratic. Don't go for the second. 3k squared plus 4k minus 7 equals 0. What did I tell you? I've been telling you in most of these videos, check the sum of the coefficients. Yes, k equals 1 is a solution because 3 plus 4 minus 7 is equal to 0. And it satisfies the second equation, so we're good. k equals 1. But what about the other value? There's no other value. Well, if uh, you can solve for using Vieta's formulas, actually, they're pretty helpful. The other root from the quadratic is negative 7 over 3. But unfortunately, that doesn't satisfy the sec second equation. How do I know that? Come on, that's a rational number. This is an integer, so it doesn't work. So we're just going to go with k equals 1, and that's the answer. So what does all this mean, right? I mean, we've been working on something like this. So here's what it means. We were given x to the 6th power minus 8x is equal to 5, and then we found that x squared minus x is equal to 1. You know what this means? This means that x to the 6th minus 8x minus 5 is divisible by x squared minus x minus 1. So if you go ahead and do long division, obviously you don't want to do it when there's a k here, right? I don't think so, because that would be really hard. Well, it's not super duper hard, but you can do, go ahead and give it a try. That's just another... Uh, method to solve this problem. If there's any other solutions, please let me know. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. And by the way, let me give you what the answer is going to be. This, when you divide them, you're going to get x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. If you don't believe that, go ahead and test it out. And until next time, bye-bye.